Guys, uh, the Cavaliers. Yes. Uh, last three games, they've dropped three in a row. Yeah. Lose to Indiana last night. Brad, let's start with you. Their defense in these last three games Horrendous. has been awful. Horrendous. What's happening? Well, basically what happens is, and it happened again last night, you have a young team that is now enamored with the way the game is structured now. The game is structured now for flamboyancy, scoring, things of that nature, three things that are exciting, right? That It may make good TV for TV watching. It doesn't mean you don't win a lot of games. So, as you saw last night in the Pacer game, down the stretch when they need to get a stop, they couldn't get a stop. Couldn't stop anybody from three, yeah. couldn't stop everybody at the end. If you saw the guys, the Pacers sizing the Cavaliers up, they were all going one-on-one on them. None of yeah. them was scared of anybody. And so, that is what has happened in the last three games. The way you win in this league is you have to defend people on a consistent basis. You have to be able to shut people down. And if you don't, if you think you're going to win by outscoring people, you may win some games. You won't win the ones that count. That's the problem. Mike, you're the biggest diehard Cavs fan on the show. Sure. What's your thoughts on their last three games? Well, it's been – obviously, it's been – depressing but they uh, I'm not scared uh, right now I think Brad's right I think they're a young team trying to find their footing I didn't I don't like the lack of uh, defense over the last few games but if you heard Bickerstaff after the game he didn't he certainly didn't like it either and was uh, first of all it sounds like he just like ate a bunch of hot crap yeah, or something no, right. he was very sick or he something. always talks that way but it was way well, it was like, worse it was yeah. way worse but he was and he said that they just for they he, they came out and tried to play Indiana Pacer basketball yeah. rather than Cleveland Cavalier basketball and I thought that that was very well put um but I also I do have I have some concerns about them lo- looking lackadaisical at this point in the season and whatnot, and I don't think they're taking anything for granted. I do think that we, well, you know, as with I think like a lot of Clevelanders, we might we want this to happen and gel sooner than it might be ready to happen and gel. I don't mm-hmm. think they're there yet. I think they probably are still a piece away too. I think it's going to be really interesting to see what uh, yeah probably. I think it's going to be really interesting to see what Ricky Rubio adds. Uh, once he comes back too, because I think that that I think that that's something that people aren't considering, and we don't know. I'm not saying it's going to make everything amazing or fix everything, but I think it's an element that could. It's going. I think it'll definitely be more helpful than uh, than anything. It's not going to blow up any chemistry, and I think that he can be very helpful um, in his role that he was last year. If you remember, that's when those. I think his leadership is great, but you can only lead so much from the bench, and I think he's got to get out there. Gee, you panicked at all? No, I, I'm not really panicked, um, but I don't like certain things for for young teams. Like, I could understand if it was an older team. And older teams are like, yeah, I don't want to play full tilt, you know, defense. I'm tired. I'm, I'm resting my legs for the for the playoffs. For me, the Cavs, be prior to this, was the number one defensive team in the league, right? Mm-hmm. And if you're the number one defensive team in the league, it should seem like that would be a thing that would stick with you. The to be that card. good, yeah. mm-hmm. that should be something that doesn't waver because you're number one at that. And people should be excited about the fact that that's you, you see the correlation between that stat and the way you're playing and winning. So when you see a, a, a you know a regression in that, it gives me pause a little bit. I've always said it this too: the the Cavs won't really be a championship contender unless Evan Mobley becomes like. He has to at least be the second best player. Or Mike, if, if you could get him to be, I'd give me 21 a game, 20 and 10, 20 and 12, two blocks. Right now, 14.5, that's okay, right? One, those numbers are decent. I would like to see that a little higher. I need to see about 12 rebounds. And if you can get him around 20 points and he's a, a game changer, there's sometimes that he, he floats around, and I think JB needed to do it like this, like they used to do Kevin Love back in the day when LeBron was here. We're coming out, the focus is Mobley. We want to get him open early. We want to get him some lobs. We want to get him some touches, maybe get him a free throw line, because now he's involved in the game, and his confidence when you're a young player goes up when you're getting touches mm-hmm. and you see the ball goes in. Then that unlocks his ability to play defense and his energy level. They need to get him more involved and don't let him to be – him and Allen ain't the same thing. Allen is a, is a guy that can get it on rim runs and garbage stuff. Mm-hmm. They need to focus on Mobley to get them where mm-hmm. they want to go. That's got- a great point, G. And there, there are some other teams around the league, and we'll get to what I texted you in a yeah. sec. But the Nets, even with KD, Kyrie, when they had James Harden, ran the first play for Joe Harris every night. It was right. the most predictable play in the entire NBA, the Joe Harris going. double screen. The 76ers last year with Embiid, all the guys they had, Seth Curry got the first shot nine out of ten games. 
getting Mobley going early, especially a designated play where let's run some action for him to be aggressive. It's a really good idea, G. Darius Garland, uh, by the way, banged up. Uh, Chris Fior said yeah, he, his hand, right? His thumb was wrapped in ice after the game. It was swollen. He may miss some time. Oh, we'll keep an eye on that, guys. Um, I, I, one more thing, though. Yeah. I will say last night the Pacers shot. Like they were ridiculous. Yeah. They shot. Yeah. I think they shot like sixty-five percent from three. Sixty-one percent. You know what I mean? See, you know, one of the like obviously the way they played defense the last few games is disappointing because that's something that it feels like it's mostly about effort on defense. But the Cavs, as we've said, are a young team and they've been a little up and down. But the good news is the ups have been much more frequent than yeah. the downs. The one thing I am concerned about, like for looking ahead, and Brad, you said you, they may be two players short. Two. You know, Kevin Love, even at his best, was not a good defender. Who <sighs> now borderline he's a playable major liability on defense? Like when you're playing, like when they're in the playoffs, I, what when are they going to do about Kevin Love? Well, first of all, the, you, you talk about the defensive side of the basketball. That's how you win games. There has to be a commitment, especially in the playoffs. You've got to right? be. Able, you have to commit to that's what yeah. I'm going to do, right? And I want to do it every night. You don't have to tell me this is what we're going to do. We got to make a stance. So. There's got to be a commitment there. You look out there, everybody's an offensive player, right? You can't get any stops. To G, I'm not sure that Mobley's ever going to be a 22 and 12 guy, right? Oh, really? This is so. You, so I, 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 dig down on that. Because well, why here, would you? See, you, well, you because you I, know big. Because, because of the team or his skill set. Because, because yeah. I have Garland, yeah. and Mitchell out front, right? So 14 could easily become 18. If you give right. me 18 and 10, I'm good. The problem here's the problem, G. They're three men away, right? The three men situation's got to be resolved, right? I know Karis is trying to come in and give us some points Dang here. Man. We didn't try uh, mm-hmm. Stevens Dang and everything man. else. It's okay. You need a three man because you need one again. You need I tell you, you need offensive firepower because when one of the two out front go down, like when Garland or Mitchell wasn't having a good game, you only left Garland to go for 46, Mitchell get 12, right? right? You got to have another guy out there that can, can consistently get you a bucket. Don't but, we know, don't we, Brad, sorry to cut you off, but don't we know where this is going? The Cavs are going to make the playoffs this year. Maybe they'll win one round. Maybe Then next year they'll go a little deeper. And then LeBron James can opt out of his contract with the Lakers. Well, LeBron James can opt out in the summer. No, he can't opt out this summer because he re-signed. I thought he had an opt out. His opt no, his opt out next after year. next year. So here, here's the here's. I know the he's going to be forty by then. Here's the <laughs> here, here's the, here's the story because, again, you have to figure out what we have going on here, right? And I'm not one for playing down the road. Sure, I'm knocking on the door yeah. right now, right? Will you make a move necessary? Because now I saw after the last three games, defensively, you got a problem here, right? Who is the person out here that's going to – now, Mobley and Allen, they try to clean it up on the back. Who's the guy out front that's front, setting the tone? Saying, front line this is and, This is not what we're doing out front here. Front line right? pick and roll defense is not, has not been good. Uh, at the, and, and you got to take the challenge at the point of attack. Right. You, you know, you can't be so apt to let a guy blow by you. Listen, they were si- – they got- Gee, they were sizing people up last – here. Uh, uh, the – Guards from Indiana, Halliburton, uh, Halliburton, Mathau. They were uh, healed. Halliburton is really good. They were sizing Mikey. They were sizing up and not. They weren't backing down from anybody. They were like, "Give me the ball, and I'm going right at you because yeah. you're not gonna stop me." After they put Darius in like a couple of situations on the side, they just blew by him. I was yeah. like, "Dude, but dude, we, the, we cannot." The problem is they don't have. And the assets, right? To trade. That's my question. Uh, that's the what, tricky what, spot. What, yeah, what do they do and to try? This, and, and this is the trick to being a great GM in this league. That's mm-hmm. true. Find Figuring, something, finding right. something here, and right. it don't have to be. A, you don't have to be an all star, yeah. mm-hmm. but you need a presence out here, yeah. right? Because right now, I don't think there's anybody there holding anybody accountable for or defensive. That's what JB was talking about last night. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you gonna play how you want to play? You right. want to play? You want to play this ESPN type game? Huh? You gonna go up and down here? This yeah. the, this the and one mixtape game we playing out here. Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna win nothing, right? There's a documentary on N one, by the way, on, on Netflix right now. I haven't finished it yet. I haven't seen uh, it. Real quick rapid fire before we get to final takes. Is JB the right guy for the Cavs? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll take his word for that. G? Yeah. I agree. I think I I don't understand. I've heard there was some like people complaining about JB. I mean, come on now. Well, really? I think like he's an excellent coach. Actual scuttle? No, I think it was just like fans. Okay. You know, well, people mean, are prisoner of the moment. I mean, we had Beeline for two seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that was, now, that was a disaster. That was uh, hilarious. What was, was thinking oh, about? God, that was pretty brutal. All right. All right. Time for final thoughts, guys. 